Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a BMW i4 M50, and next to me is a Tesla Model 3 Performance, and we're gonna have a drag race. So let me tell you about this BMW. It has two electric motors combined. They put out 544 horsepower and 795 newton meters of torque. This car is rather heavy though. It weighs in at 2.2 tons. It's quite expensive as well. It starts from 64,000 pounds. That Tesla's a bit cheaper, if you can call 60,000 pounds cheap. It's less powerful though. So so it's two electric motors put out a combined 490 horsepower and 660 newton meters of torque however it is lighter than this bmw by quite some margin it weighs just over 1.8 tons it's gonna be interesting this now that tesla looks a bit different doesn't it a few tweaks here and there like a new front bumper it's makes it look aggressive bad boy wheels rear spoiler and some side spats all of which I'm sure will create drag and make it slower. <laughs> it does look meaner than normal. Now that car's been worked on by AMT London. Now they sell and lease high-end vehicles. That's probably about as low-end as their high-end goes. <laughs> So if you want to check them out, I'll put a link in the description there. Go have a look at their work and definitely do that because we'll be able to get more cars from them, some even more high-end cars from them. So make sure you go to their website. They'll be looking at the numbers. So do that quickly. Right, now you've done that. We can get on with this drag race. Let's do it. What's going to win? Tesla or the i4? I don't know. We're going to find out though. Now before we race, we've got to do the customary car wow sound check, but these are both electric cars. So we're going to make noises. I'm going to do the noise of a Formula One car. I think I am. Are you ready for this? An old Formula One car. I think it's a, uh, an old V12. Have a listen. <laughs> God, felt a bit dizzy then. Uh, that was rubbish, wasn't it? Simon, you've got to make some noise. Um, make a car noise. Can you do one riffing? It's actually quite good. You've got to like kind of like husky and like a bit mysterious. Anyway, now if you're after a new car, you're probably going to have to change out of your old car and you can do everything at CarWow. So not only can you get a fair price for the car you're trying to buy, you can get a fair price for the car you're trying to sell before you buy your next car. And to do that, just click on the pop out banner up there, I'll follow the link in the description below. All right, and you can do that at a later date if you want to just by simply Googling help me car wow and my team and I will help you choose the right car for you. We'll help you get a fair price for the car you're selling and help you get a fair price for the car you're buying. And you don't have to do one or the other, you can do both or either of them. Anyway, help me car wow, tell your friends and family, right? Pace for these videos. Let's race. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Come on BMW, what you got? Three, two... Launch control is active. One! Blasted him off the line. God, this is struggling for traction. Oh, it's making a noise now. Got that Tesla, absolutely dropping it. <laughs> oh, baby, yeah. First of all, you were sleeping on the line. What was going on there? Yeah, I'm not sure it's launch control engaged because this just walked away from the start line then. I was very pleased with that victory. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do it again because Muggins didn't launch it properly so many things to know with all these different cars hopefully my bmw will engage its launch control because sometimes it won't let you do it if it thinks its battery is too hot a bit like with the petrol cars where sometimes they just won't let you launch either i think they just do it to annoy you three two one Whoa. now he's getting ahead come on bmw have you got the legs Yes! Oh, that was satisfying! Oh, oh! I'm not a BMW fanboy. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. You got off the line better than me, but I beat ya. 
I was going to have you on that one, but you just came flying past me. That's BMW versus Tesla. Tesla all about the low down punch, BMW. You know, they're used to building internal combustion engine cars, and I think they've made sure that their electric car keeps on delivering power as you get faster. I've got to say something, though. I really like the nose on that Tesla. I think it looks better than this BMW. There's a particularly bold claim with this body kit, I think. I don't like the other bits, but I like the nose. Aerodynamic, can't be cut through the air. What do you think of the look of that car? Do you think I'm right that it's got a good nose on it? You like that nose over the normal Tesla nose? Let me know in the comments below. Do you know what I liked about this BMW as well? It made a noise when I was accelerating, which is absolutely annoying on the road. But for the drag race, it did add to the experience because I know it was completely silent in your Tesla, wasn't it? There's not a lot going on in here apart from me just being forced back into my seat off the line. But other than that, not much. And well done for launching the car properly this time. You did your job properly. Thanks, mate. <laughs> So then what exactly happened? Well, the BMW won, completing the standing quarter mile in 11.9 seconds, while the Tesla took 12 seconds. All right, now we have a riding race from 30 miles an hour. I'm gonna call this one in. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this does kick hard, but not as hard as that Tesla. He just shot off. Can we pull him back in? Not before the quarter mile. But here we go now, look at this. This is set up for the autobahn, I'm telling you, look at that. That shot off. You absolutely dropped me. Caught up with me eventually though. Now we're gonna do the same thing again, but this time we're gonna do it from 50 miles an hour. Right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Not such a difference this time. Doesn't get the absolute drop on me. And here we go, 110 miles an hour and I'm past him. Leave him for dead. Similar thing again, that Tesla takes off quicker, doesn't it? But then this BMW catches it up and then starts gapping it. It's got the lead up until about 105 and then you just sail past. But let's be honest, out on the road, the Tesla is going to be quicker unless you're in Germany. And that's probably because this is a German car. They've, they've like set it up so that it can cope with the Autobahn and deliver the kind of performance. The Germans will fight on the Autobahn, yeah! Okay, now we're going to have a brake test from 100 miles an hour when we reach the line for emergency stop. Which car will stop in the shortest distance? This is around 400 kilos heavier than that is. <laughs> Come on, BMW. You're not known for having brilliant brakes, BMW, are you? Hopefully they're better than Tesla's brakes. Let's find out. Here comes the line. Now. No, they're not better. Yeah, Tesla won that. Um, it's lighter, isn't it? <laughs> I had full region on and everything like that to help me out, but I guess that's the effect of almost 400 extra kilos. It's not a bit easier, definitely. I don't know what you said. Do you? Let me know in the comments below if you do. No, I found a really good deal on CarWow, a car that delivers good performance and is economical to run. I'm not gonna tell you what that car is, whether it's electric or internal combustion engine, but there's a great deal on it. If you wanna find out what it is, the deal, click on the pop-out button there and follow the link in the description below. Now, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, and you've been enjoying these videos, and you see them pop in your feed, but you've never taken the step and subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Also, having more subscribers will help us get more cars, do more videos for you to enjoy more, 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 more. This car's making a weird, like, vibing sound. It's like pulsing. Like the steering wheel's vibrating, it's just odd. Is this all the hand simmer stuff? Anyway, if you want to watch more videos, click on those windows there, click on that box there to see how these cars' times compared to all the other cars we drag raced on the CarWow Drag Race leaderboard.